Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing the notion of property ownership counting, if you will, for immigration. What are we talking about here? Well, in years past, and you can read about this in like old forums regarding Thai immigration matters, about like condo ownership in and of itself being acceptable for issuance of a visa, specifically an O visa in the past you would see this somewhat frequently. It felt, that practice fell by the wayside, and quite frankly, as of the time of this video, it is not currently the habit of Thai immigration to authorize issuance of an O visa simply because a foreign national has a condo in Thailand. That in and of itself might not, and in fact, I'd say probably won't. Again, everything's circumstantially dependent, but probably isn't gonna be enough to get you over the hump, basically saying, hey, you know, I have a condo in Thailand, I want to live here, and they'll say, well, why? I mean, that's kind of what their response is back to you. That said, can property be used in an immigration context? Well, it depends on the context. So, for example, we're, we're, we've gotten into discussions, I've been doing videos on this, where they are creating new requirements associated with insurance here in Thailand, and especially for retirees, and this whole notion of being able to quote unquote self-insure in Thailand. And a recent article from the Patia Mail, that's patiamail.com, article is titled Long Stay Retirees in Thailand to be Allowed to Self-Insure. And there was a tiny excerpt in here. I urge folks who are watching this to go read that article. But they said they will be required to show at least three million baht of assets, which can include cash in a Thai or foreign bank, ownership of property or similar funds. This seems to be part of the framework. Again, we're really not gonna know exactly how this is gonna work until the fourth quarter of 2022, because at that point, the rubber's gonna hit the road with respect to adjudication of matters pertaining to this new insurance requirement starting for retirees in October, specifically OA retirement visa holders. So that's not gonna begin until October of 2022, so keep that in mind. But it does look like, possibly, property here in Thailand could be used when adjudicating things like the, the insurance requirement or the self-insurance function of the insurance requirement. However, the thing to take away from this, I think, is it's, not, it's still not usable to prove up, for example, in a retirement context, the, uh, the 800,000 baht financial requirement or the 65,000 baht per month in income. Those income and financial requirements still are what they are, but property may be used in an adjudication of whether or not somebody can pay or can self-insure for medical bills accrued here in Thailand.